Hey everyone, it's Eddie from MSI. As a pioneer in the gaming industry, MSI strives to provide the best gaming experience to all our fans. In order to master our keyboard, MSI cooperated with a brand that is well known for its expertise on gaming peripherals, SteelSeries. Through collaboration, MSI Laptop's keyboard is tuned to provide the best gaming experience and offers the variety of coloring effects to satisfy gamers out there who loves a RGB gaming keyboard. Today we're going to introduce the software that comes with the SteelSeries keyboard known as the SteelSeries Engine or SSE in short. It is the software that is responsible for managing the keyboard of MSI gaming laptops and all other SteelSeries branded peripherals. This application enables you to personalize the backlight underneath the keycaps. Let's check out how it works. Before we start, make sure that SteelSeries engine is up to date with the latest version. On the top right hand corner, there's a speaker icon that notifies you for any updates. You can click and see if there's a new version available for you. You can always install it manually on the SteelSeries official website if the update function doesn't work. There is a minor chance that the software is unable to detect your keyboard after installing the latest version. If you're unfortunate enough to encounter this problem, here's what you should do. Find a paperclip or anything thin and insert it into the battery reset button. It is generally located at the bottom of the laptop. However, different models may have different locations. You can find the exact spot on the product manual. Let's get started. In the software, you will find your gaming keyboard listed under the My Gear tab. If you're using GE Raider series, Mystic Lite is also customizable here. You can switch between preset RGB templates in configuration or change it by pressing the function plus one to nine shortcuts. There are a lot of color options for you to customize within the illumination UI if you are an advanced user. There's a list on the side where you can find other preset combinations for you to explore. You can play around with the different lighting, making minor adjustments on the current template or start from scratch and build a unique profile. Turning on the live preview gives you the full experience while configuring. The RGB keyboard automatically syncs with your adjustments and gives you a good sense of your creation. Let's write MSI on the keyboard. Don't forget to save it when you're done. The next part is the macro key. Wait, hold up. Before we go into any details, I have to get this straight. MSI does not encourage any cheating software or applications while you are gaming, especially when it's competitive gaming or PvP situation. This automation will definitely lead to your account being banned. But there's absolutely no reason why you can't have a little fun in offline single player games. Not only it can enhance your game experience, but also it can benefit your editing workflow by setting different shortcuts into macro keys. This feature will be able to save you time while you work. Recording macros is relatively easy. Click the key bind button, then enter the macro key editor. Create a new recording event. Click start to start recording your event. The macro editor will display the buttons you've pressed along the way. When you finish recording, just click stop. While you are recording, you'll notice that there is a number between each event. These numbers help SSE3 play back your macro in the same way you recorded it. You can keep the delay interval as it is, but we suggest you to set it to zero milliseconds for immediate response. To do so, just click on the gear icon next to the clear button and select no delay. Done, you've got your first macro key set up. To rename your macro setting, Click the Manage button in the bottom left hand corner within the Edit Macro interface and open up the macro list. Right click whichever one you want to change and click Rename. After you're finished, close the macro editor and select your new macro from the list. There are a lot of different applications out there that might be useful while you're gaming and SSE3 has gathered some for you. The Engine Apps is a collection of in-game integration and purpose-built applications that deliver custom design benefits. We are gonna list out three applications out of the whole list just to show you how it works. The three apps are going to be the Audio Visualizer, Image Sync, and Game Sense. Try not to apply too many apps, especially with the same function as the light effect may clash and stop working. Firstly, the Audio Visualizer. Simply press the switch to turn it on. This app instantly renders your audio spectrum dynamically, putting on a show. You can customize the colors through the configuration UI by clicking the gear icon. Here's a demonstration of the audio visualizer. We all have to be brave and start a new life. Next up, Image Sync. This app will detect the animated GIF and convert it into an illumination effect on the keyboard. Pick one animated GIF and import it into the app. Then you can adjust the sync area in tools and check the effect by clicking save. Here's what it looks like. Third one is GameSense. 
GameSense is the reason why Engine Apps tab exists. It's a software development kit that allows apps to feed the signals to trigger tactile alerts. In simple sentence, it's what makes the RGB effect on the keyboard. Just switch on the game title in Engine Apps, then launch the games as usual and you'll see the keyboard backlight syncing with the game. Here's a demonstration of GameSense on CSGO. The first row is the status of the ammunition, the second row is the status of the health, the third row is the armor. You can modify these presets by clicking the gear icon and change according to your preference. The last tab is a library. It lists the programs and provides the status of each engine apps that are currently supporting it. If the engine app that you switched on isn't working, the quick way is to check it here. If the library is empty after you install your game, press the scan for games button to add it to the list. You can also add it manually. That pretty much wraps up all the details on how to use SteelSeries Engine. Before you start playing around with the software, we suggest you to create an account. That way, your settings will be conveniently synced across all devices. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.